Welcome again to Like Uke, a place where all cravings can come true. I'm a big fan of dulce de leche and cookies, who isn't? And I wanted to mix both in a recipe that you don't see that often around here. So today we're making alfajores. Alfa what? The alfajor is a sandwich-like cookie with dulce de leche or cajeta inside. I love them all my life, but I never made them. And I found out that they're not that difficult to make. And because I like mixing it up, today we're making ginger alfajores. Before we start, and if you like really fun recipes, subscribe with this little button right here for more. All the ingredients you're gonna need are below the video and on the vlog. We'll need dulce de leche, right? Yeah, I know it can be a bit expensive sometimes, but let me show you a magic trick. To make homemade dulce de leche, you only need a can of sweet condensed milk, water, and a pot. You're going to boil your can of sweet condensed milk for about two hours. Yes, can closed and without its wrap. If you have a pressure cooker, this can be done in 30 to 50 minutes. Make sure you add more water every 40 minutes or so because it evaporates. The heat will help the yummy mix inside transform magically into dulce de leche. Once the time is done, we're gonna be very careful to take the can out because it's super hot. And it's gonna take a while to cool down. So we'll leave it aside. Now onto the big recipe. The best feeling that I get from alfajores is that when I eat them, they're all powdery and crumbly. So to achieve this amazing dough, we'll first mix cornstarch, all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and ginger in a bowl. The ginger adds that festive touch we all need. On another bowl, we'll cream the softened butter with the sugar, and once it's all mixed and it looks like a cloud, we'll add lemon zest, some vanilla extract, a very intense almond extract, and finally our egg yolks, but make sure you blend them in one by one. Once that's done, add your dry mix little by little, incorporating everything. If the mix is too dry, you can add a bit of lemon juice to help it blend. And once it looks like this, wrap it in plastic paper or a plastic bag and stick it in the fridge for at least an hour. Now after half an hour or so of cooling, let's see if it passed the test. Woohoo! Now that it's done, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll roll out the dough in a flour prepare surface. If your dough sticks to your rolling pin, put some more flour on it. Yeah, you might see cracks here or there, but as long as you have a big working area, it's all good. Use a round object to make little circles. It can be a shot glass, a cookie cutter, anything. And just fit as many as you can in there. Next, transfer your little circles onto parchment paper prepared baking sheets. Lift them up the table using a butter knife dipped in flour and sliding the knife underneath the dough circles. Again, fit as many as you want. Let's make good use of our oven. You can continue rolling out the excess dough and make more circles. Put your pan in for about 10 minutes. Don't leave your mini circles unattended. They'll be done when some start browning. Now that our cookies have cooled down, it's assembly time. Let's make a thin layer on both sides. Mmm, I know you want to scarf down that dulce de leche hole, but trust me, it tastes heavenly within these alfajores. Make your flavors a little bit more interesting and add a bit of salt to each one. And now, I declare you alfajor. For 
serving, sprinkle a little powdered sugar on top. Hope you like this recipe, and if you make it, send me your photos. See you on the next La Cuquette. And now, let's celebrate.